gangsters, what's up guys? Okay guys, so several of you have asked me to do more videos on diagnosis and what do bad data logs look like with actual problems and how do you adjust them? How do you know when you're looking at uh, bad fueling uh, just because it's poor fueling, uh, because of the upgrades you've made or because you have an actual mechanical problem? So this is a super vulnerable video for me because um, I have some data logs here of my own truck where there's some mistakes were made. Hey Gilmore, you suck, you jackass and uh, it's stuff that I preach all the time but we're gonna look at some decent data logs I'm gonna see it lets you guys kind of know at the end what the the ultimate problems were so uh, we're gonna go here um, to the last data log that I had uh, before I did the Trailblazer SS intake manifold okay so we'll come up here I need to change my channel layout it was obviously working on dodge stuff here layouts uh, let's see master layout here we go okay so if you notice here this is a somewhat wide open throttle pull and everything appears to be pretty okay um, especially we're gonna get rid of this one so you'll see here um, about, 50, about 5400 rpm 80 percent duty cycle so we're out of out of injector basically um, and these are what our fuel trims kind of look like, especially after, after the pool. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Everything looks perfectly fine. The vehicle ran and drove great. Okay. So fast forward. So I do the Trailblazer SS intake manifold swap, the, um, 1261-3412 injectors. And all of a sudden, when we go to tune it, for some reason... On D cell, we start to have this really gnarly bucking and surging thing going on. And if you look down here, look at what the fuel trims are doing. These fuel trims are misbehaving all over the place. Something crazy is going on. And then it goes lean, really weird, really odd things. Okay. So I thought that this had to do with. Uh, just the fuel tuning something was was you know was going wrong oh here's a really good one nice nice so you can see here on D cell look at the what the fuel trims are doing look at this this vehicle was physically jolting and, and gyrating and doing all kind of crazy things um, and I was trying to adjust the throttle cracker table and everything to try to get it to straighten out and I still, no matter how much I corrected the fueling using, you know, the histograms like I've taught you guys how to do, um, you know, it's still cruising along and idle. Everything was fine. But for some reason on D cell, this thing would just go nuts. And when you see, like, look at this right here, this almost looks like a bad oxygen sensor, which you guys have seen in some of my, some of one of my previous videos where we talked about what happens when you disable the front oxygen sensor and the vehicle will run really, really poorly and it won't throw a code, which there's no reason to ever disable the front oxygen sensor codes. Um, but whenever it did this, I mean, look at bank two as opposed to bank one. It should never be this far out. Um, so yeah, I mean, check this out. Look at this. It's taught, it's, if your trims are this far out, the vehicle probably is going to physically run poorly in whatever area it is which on acceleration everything was great but on D cell the vehicle was doing this so I'd almost like the torque converter was trying to lock and unlock and was going crazy it really didn't make any sense um, you have to excuse the uh, my uh, file names here let's look at another one again yeah there again going nuts um, and you can see oh look right here check this out you can't even see it anymore because it's so rich and you can look here. Yeah, it's just going nuts. So if I pull up the latest tune file or the one that's supposed to be loaded, we're going to look at this one and I'm going to show you the first thing that I found wrong, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I, I, I made, uh, made some mistakes. So if we come in here, Let's see, where's our latest? I think I deleted some. 
pretty sure this one right here was our like our first one with the trailblazer aha so if you'll notice this file has the 12 6134 12 injectors in it okay so when we come over to injector data okay these guys right here you can get this stuff on matt sanford's website you can get it on ewalt's tuning i have it i can get a bunch of you guys have asked for it okay but if you'll notice the short pulse adder here's what i had it at before here's what it's supposed to be so that was part of it now granted this is my daily driver so um i uh, did not test just changing the injector data because I had to get this thing back together. But I'm going to show you right here in, the, in this uh, clip that the intake tube, the rubber grommet that goes to the throttle body from the Volant cold air intake had a big tear in it. Um, and I believe that on D-cell, it was sucking air in or, or something was going on and we, were, we had a big air leak. Um, and so... Um, Again, I, I've dealt with it before where you'll see the fuel trims be this far out. And if you try to make a fueling adjustment, which I did, um, nothing would change. It would just go in the opposite direction or whatever. So when I went to uh, pull the intake tube off, uh, I found that it was, it was busted. And I'd been driving around basically with a giant air leak. Um, and so... Yeah, just something to uh, just something to consider. Again, uh, I don't know how much that injector data would have made a difference. I would say probably some, um, but definitely this right here, I believe, was caused from this giant air leak that we had. And again, you could tell because like the video I did about the SS Camaro with the front oxygen sensor codes turned off, when one of those oxygen sensors went bad, that bank, the short-term fuel trims went nuts and the vehicle almost wouldn't idle and, and the brakes wouldn't work because it, you know, it had poor vacuum, just all kind of stuff. So there again, and I was going back and forth trying to change my fueling to see if that would, would help it and make it work. So again, um, looking at the fuel trims is gonna be super important. Obviously, double checking the injector data is gonna be even more important. And then just the hard parts. There was no way that I was gonna be able to tune around um, that air leak, that vacuum leak. So. Um, again, hope you guys uh, take something away from it. Learn from my demise. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.